falsely accused I lost out on my senior season in college. The UFL gave me a second chance with the San Antonio Brahmas, and then I got a crack at winning the job in the NFL. Then I went back to the UFL, and there's a midseason twist I was not ready for in the UFL. A lot happens this year on our road to glory, so let's jump in. For starters, King Sponge was an up-and-coming Boise State University quarterback accused of involvement in the underground sponge market. Recently, I was proven innocent and won the case. The lawyer prevailed. I was found not guilty of illegal sponge trade activities, and this guy was. We got done dirty. The NCAA had the wrong guy, and this freshman receiver at a coastal was in fact the perpetrator, and he got banned from college football, sentenced to 15 years in jail. To make this right, NCAA partnered with EA Sports, and they were willing to at least put me on the cover of the next college football game. Not for the standard edition, but the deluxe done dirty edition. Not sure how I feel about it. Anyways, we were a free agent pickup by the Vikings after our first UFL season, given a shot in camp, and had a chance to get some in-game action in the first preseason game against the Seattle Seahawks. During that first game, we had some impressive plays, but then we had also plays like that. Big picks that sent us right back down to the UFL. We got released, cut, done with, and thankfully the Brahmas were willing to pick us back up. We had quite the offseason, to say the least. A lot has happened since the last time we played out here. Being a free man does wonders to the player, as now he can play loose. He doesn't have to worry about critics and he can just go to work. And go to work, King Sponge will. He is ready to bring the Brahmas a UFL championship. Now in year two, he's much more seasoned and uh, making less mistakes than that. Surprisingly, the only constant that has happened in this off season is that the Brahmas roster is fairly intact from the first season and Johnson to the house. And that is a touchdown to 83. Oh yeah, we got a guy going across the middle of the field. That is six. We're all tied up. In case you were wondering, yes, D is back, still doing his thing. Though I know he doesn't want to be in the UFL much longer. This year, King Sponge is playing with a chip on his shoulder as he has something to prove to the pros. It is his goal to make the Vikings pay for their decision to cut him. Oh man, that is a costly turnover here in the red zone. Defense holds the Roughnecks to three points and it's up to the Brahma's offense to get down this field and go for a touchdown. And oh my goodness, that's a big play. We're planning and keeping destroying on the sidelines. We don't need a field goal. We want to win it all. And Kalen Balaj is going to have to play his part. 20 seconds left. Across the middle to strike. We got first in 10 to go. 15 seconds left. I'm going to scramble. King Sponge just looking for anyone. He's going to take it himself. Does he got it? Just short. First and goal. I think he's out of bounds though. All right, Patrick, these are the moments you are waiting for to cash in and be a Brahma legend with six seconds left. Touchdown. And let's go. San Antonio off to a 1-0 start. Houston Roughnecks down 0-1. King Sponge with the drive that led his team right down the field for the win. Man, it has been a rocky start to the season. Yes, we win in week one, but the Brahmas are 1-4 in, in year two. This is ridiculous. King Sponge is doing all that he can. He's actually playing much better this year. We're going up against our rival, the Arlington Renegades in Arlington, Texas. We're like polar opposites right now. Brahmas are 1-4, Renegades are 4-1, and, and I think our championship hopes are pretty much out of reach. This week is the UFL trade deadline, so there are a lot of eyes and ears waiting to see what the Brahmas do. Early speculation says the Brahmas are sellers, of course, after going 1-4 and four in the opening start. King Sponge, of course, is hearing the rumors just like anyone else, and people are speculating this could be it for King Sponge, as the Brahmas are going to sell the shop. Sponge just trying to block out the noise for now and play a good game of football. And a good game of football starts with a little touchdown. Just outside the red zone, we can strike once more, and that is a wide open receiver touchdown. This is not the season the Brahmas had in mind, and it's awfully unfortunate. So even though King Sponge has not put much thought into the traded block, it might be in his best interest to try to get himself over to a championship caliber team. Because if King Sponge can win a championship here in the UFL, all eyes will be on him and his team. It has been a back and forth battle against the Renegades. This is a really good squad. Little tight end attack might do the trick. Over the middle, that might work. He's got it. Oh my goodness. Way to moss that man. Just a little head top action, you know, nothing crazy. We'd love to see that. And we hate to see that. That was a ricochet int. In a back 
in a back and forth game, King Sponge can come out as a hero if he just steps up and drives his team to victory. Despite throwing a few picks, King Sponge has actually been stepping up to be a big time QB in this one. And uh, does that prove my point? And the Arlington Renegades with less than a minute to go can't come through throwing a costly interception. With the game on the line, Perez was not that guy, pal. And what do you know? The one in four Brahmas come in and spoil the Renegades' 4 1 record. They're 4 and 2 now. Still got a shot at the title. It's anyone's division up at the top. Brahmas just looking to play spoiler. King Sponge served up a little 500 piece, and uh, yeah, Renegades go down. Bro, what? Before the game was even over, the Brahmas' front office was cooking up a trade to the team we were playing. They're sending Destroying and myself to Arlington. Literally besides Houston, our other Texas in-state rival. And for what, three riskier dudes that might not pan out? Because us two over here on the Brahmas, we're locks. What an insane span of a week it has been. There is King's Punch, first look in the Arlington Renegades uniform. It looks like the rumors were true after all the Brahmas did sell the shop. And then was it coincidence that Luis Perez also gets sick this week? So... Uh, the competition was wide open, and we took our game to the next level, securing the QB role. Just one week after the Brahmas came to town and beat the Renegades in Arlington, we're back at Arlington. This time in the blue and red, and you know what? I've been thinking about it. It might just work out for us in the end. We got a new cast of receivers like Vaughn, Smallwood, Arcanado, Canella, guys that we can work with and show scouts that we are versatile. We can play with anyone we throw out there. Not only that, the Brahmas are at the bottom of the division and the Renegades, if we win here, five and two looks awfully nice. In fact, five and two would put us right back at the top of the division and we'll go ahead and take a touchdown. All right, Arcanado couldn't quite get there, but we can finish it off. Number 11, big six. We're about to see a whole new side of sponge. This team is better equipped with a defense that can make some stops, so we should have plenty of opportunity on offense to get down this field. King Sponge dropping back. He's got a wide open man down the sideline. I saw that miles away as Vaughn's is just gonna do his thing. Touchdown, Renegades. An underdog in every step of his career, King Sponge delivers the dime from walk-on quarterback at Boise State to Brahma's quarterback to cut in training camp for the Vikings. He's back and with a vengeance with the Renegades. Tight one against the DC defenders. We want to get to the playoffs and get to the championship game. And it starts right now with a win. And when you want to win, that's why you go and trade for a guy like King Sponge, who can also step up with his legs, lower the head and get a first down. Wide open guy over here. No one decided to cover number 19 today. And we'll take a six. Talk about first impressions with over 400 passing yards and three touchdowns. King Sponge knows he can just run out the clock now and walk away victorious. But this one's for the fans. It's like Curry hitting a no look three pointer. Well, King Sponge can do that too. I don't know what just happened here tackle that man please okay well the clean game not so clean anymore after a turnover ties it up for the defenders 30 seconds left looking for that buzzer beater wasting no time to make connection with these guys as number 19 in a big way steps up for the touchdown arcanado sponged arcanado what a bond what a drive what a game winning touchdown pass here barring 20 seconds left king's punch comes through a huge DC defenders go down with last minute heroics here from the Renegades. It has been one heck of a week beating the Renegades with the Brahmas last week, winning with the Renegades in the same stadium. Onward towards the playoffs we go. The best team from the XFL and the best team from the USFL will square up head to head. If we can just hold on to our division lead, we'll be there in no time. Finishing out eight and two, and they're taking on the Birmingham Stallions. These guys went nine and one in the usfl best of the best in the ufl come together in the championship game it's the best from the xfl conference the best from the usfl conference it's going to be a stallions renegades matchup king sponge has been waiting for moments like this the stage is set the teams are ready we're going to have a battle on our hands looking to play looking to have the game of our life king sponge needs to put on a performance no bigger stage right now than this the scouts are here everyone's watching there has been no game as big as this in King Sponge's young career, so he's going to have to show up in a major way. And Smallwood, that is a good play, getting us right down to the red zone. We don't need to make football harder than it really needs to be, right? Just hit the open receiver, 
move the chains and drop him back looking for his open tight end he's got him that's going to be a touchdown to kick off the ufl championship game that is what i'm talking about king sponge to his star tight end canela canela's looking to make it to the league himself birmingham wasted no time to score so we're going to call the read option king sponge going to use his legs and he gets a first down he was a big read option type guy in college, and uh, there was no shortage of that at Boise State, and that's a risky play, going up to three defenders. Eesh. We're going to have to go across the middle and hit a receiver diving for the ball. What a catch by Arcanado on that last one, and we have a wide open man here across the middle trying to get swifty with it. Canella has been a lot of fun to work with so far. Number 80 just has a knack for getting open. What did I say? He looks open again. You just can't stop him. Only fair that Canella finishes this off, and he will. With that strike from King Sponge, we are up by 10 points in the UFL championship game. It's the two-minute drill here, and to be more precise, we only got one minute left, so let's make this quick. What the heck? Where did Robinson come from? Bringing in Stallion's big pick. But what do you know? The Stallions give it right back to us, and that will spring our guy open here. Smallwood, major play. Why don't we spread the love, go the other direction? It's Vaughn's who holds on big time. With just nine seconds left, QB draw. Why not King Sponge do it himself? Because that, that is why we don't do it by ourselves. Our defense has been absolutely massive for us in this game. I have not had to work hard at all in the second half. It's been a defensive showing. If you didn't notice, we're up by 21 in the championship game. I think we can put the nail in the coffin here. Victory formation, all things considered, I think King Sponge had a really efficient game. He did what was asked of him while putting up 400 passing yards along the way. No bigger stage than the UFL championship. And with the final second winding down, your Arlington Renegades are UFL champions and what a story it has been from our our name dragged through the mud in the sponge trade to getting traded by the brahmas who just gave up halfway through the season we landed on the right team the renegades our in-state texas rival the renegades were the right team to land on because we were just able to show the world and show nfl scouts why we are still capable at quarterback i expect a few teams to come knocking in the offseason if you're soaking up this series make sure to hit that subscribe button drop a like i got plenty more heaters on the way and as always feel free to drop a comment on what you want to see next catch y'all in the next sponge out out.